In this video, I'm going to show you how you configure your WebStart store to accept PayPal as a payment option. From your account dashboard, scroll down and click the Store app to open up your store manager. Now, if you don't have a store already, this will allow you to choose one and set one up. And once your store manager is open, click the Settings tab. Now, by default, all WebStart stores are set up to accept WePay. You can, of course, change that here. You can also add PayPal as a payment option. And that's what I'm going to do here by checking this box and then entering the PayPal email address associated with my account. And then click update. That's all there is to adding PayPal as an option. Uh, people can then go to your website and they will see a option to ch check out with PayPal. I'll show you how that works. Uh, so instead of just having the credit card logos here, you'll have an additional PayPal logo. Now, one thing I want to show you, uh, in addition to adding the PayPal email address to accept payments, you should be able to do that. That will work for you. That's not going to be a problem. The problem exists if you don't complete this next step, uh, getting people back to your WebStart's website. You see, when you choose to accept PayPal, people are taken away from your website, log into their PayPal account, and then pay through their PayPal account. Getting back to your website to allow people to then uh, get the payment confirmation page that will provide the digital download or the receipt. Um, that's the part that we need to set up within the PayPal account to make sure that happens. So go ahead and let's fill this out and I'll show you exactly why that's important. And all this stuff is not as important because we're using PayPal. PayPal uses their own checkout. And then click continue, check out with PayPal. Now you see that it took me away from my WebStarts website into a PayPal URL. Now I've got to find a way to get back to that PayPal. Um, so in order to do that, after a successful checkout, we'll go ahead and we'll process that now. Now that it's paid, now I'm just gonna sit here and wait. It'll automatically redirect me back to the payment confirmation page that you see here. Now, in order to do that, you have to provide this URL or a version of that in your PayPal account. And I'll show you how to do that now. Now let's go ahead and go over to your PayPal account and get that set up. Um, I'm already logged in my PayPal account, but you'll wanna log into your PayPal account and click on profile, followed by profile and settings. Scroll down to My Selling Tools in the left-hand side, followed by Website Preferences, Update. Now you want to turn Auto Return on. That's what we're doing is we're auto returning back to your WebStarts website. Check the Auto Return On button and then enter the following URL, which I will provide in the help document. Let me grab that and paste that in here. Now the URL, it's uh, it's pretty long, secure.website forward slash shopping dash cart forward slash cart forward slash thank you. And again, I'll provide that in the help document that you can copy and paste into your own account. Once you're done with that, click save. And that's all there is to it. Now you've added PayPal to your account. You've updated that information. You've added the PayPal return URL in your PayPal account. And now anybody who goes to your website can use PayPal to check out and they will be returned to your website to see the payment confirmation, to get the digital download or whatever you're providing, the receipt, etc. They'll get credited for the sale uh, and that return loop will be intact. But if you're missing any of those steps, you may have a problem with that. If you have any questions about this, you can always refer back to these videos in this help document. If you have any additional questions beyond that, feel free to give us a call or let us know and we'll be happy to help out. Thank you.